they tore, they're tearing down her bridge, and then they caught it on fire when they were trying to weld the steel. Welder. Welder. That joins steel pieces to steel pieces. We've had this bridge for decades to be able to walk on our trail along the river. Not anymore. This was our nature trail. It caught on fire Wednesday. I heard fire trucks, but I had no idea there was a huge fire and it even spread to the side and started going down the path towards our house. What? I think I remember hearing an ambulance or a fire truck maybe one day. Uh, your frog's gonna fall down there and then it's gonna be really hard to get him back. Then we're gonna have to call the animal rescue to come rescue Jeremy. Then what? And should I take Jeremy a bath when we get home? You might need one. If you put him in this charcoal. So now that they're going to tear out the rest of this bridge, maybe we'll just have to bring our boat down and park it, our little sailboat, and put it here. But how are we going to do that? Uh, I don't know yet. Put it in the water and sail it in here and then put an anchor. But Daddy, what? it burnt the metal? Yeah. Wow. The rocks okay, good. we'll come back next week and see if the rest of the bridge has been torn down. Until then, Deli, c'est bon voyage. What does that mean? Have a good voyage in French. Okay, bye. It's all burnt. I am so disappointed we lost our bridge for hiking. The old train bridge. What do you think, bud? What? I feel disappointed. Well, I think uh, next summer we'll make a spot to park our sailboat. Here. Right here. here. It'll be our secret little spot. But is it summer? Right now? Yeah. Yeah, it's July. But how come? We're in the middle of summer. I think today's July 26. Do it again. Okay, go. Uh, sort of. Try it again. You missed my third skip. Awesome. Three skips. But that jumped like the wrong way. Well, Mommy just sent us a text message asking, where is that? Because I sent her a picture. She's going to be surprised when I tell her it's our bridge on our trail. Can you be like, what? Yeah. Alright, let's stop. I'm going to call her and tell her what happened. Okay, bye.
Dally. Are we going that way or are we going through the secret path in the woods? Really? Well, uh, wait, second thought we better not because uh, the poison ivy right at the end of it is growing pretty high. <clears throat> we'll have to wait till fall when it all dies off. What? How come we have poison ivy? Oh, well, it's a defense mechanism for the plant. To protect the plant from animals like deer that like to eat plants. Oh. They won't eat it. Poison ivy was poison and they ate it. What will happen to the deer? Probably get sick. You can imagine what happens to us when we get into poison ivy. Remember your cousin Samuel? When they came down to visit from Calgary, they didn't know about poison ivy. And he went for a hike in the woods and walked through it. And then what happened to him? Was he allergic? Everyone's allergic to it. He got blisters and sores and bleeding on his legs and itching. It was awful. Is it the bleeding on the legs? What is it because when it was bleeding on his legs, is it because he was scratching? And then after that, um, it started bleeding? Yeah. And because the, <clears throat> the poison ivy makes you break out in blisters and sores. And it's really, really painful. But why does it happen to us? Because we're allergic to it. So we'll just stick to the trail. Let's keep going. Okay, want to show everyone what poison ivy looks like? You're right. Right there. So if you have for a hike in the woods, in eastern Canada, this is what you got to look out for. Poison ivy in Oak Point. We're home. Playhouse. Cottage, which we call Little Green Gables. And Dolly's bike in the garage. Back home. And Dally sailboat. That's what we were talking about at the burnt bridge. Uh, we can put our sailboat in the water and put a, a rope on it to tie it there. So we can have a place to go to our boat. When we want to go sailing. You got a name for your boat yet? You gonna call it the I don't know? No. no? Uh, I think you should call it the Airbender. Wow. Avatar Airbender. Or the Waterbender. What do you think? I just like to get it in the water so we can go sailing soon.
Here it is. Daddy's going to learn all about sailing. Our sail's kind of not connected properly at the moment, but. There you have it. That was our adventure for today. Unfortunately, our adventure brought a sad surprise of our bridge on our hiking trail burnt down. That they were tearing it down anyway, so we were going to lose it regardless. But but hopefully we can put our sailboat in the water down there and tie it there, as it connects to the river, which is a good place to put it because it's safe in there and hopefully next time that's what we'll be doing is sailing another boat. Bye for now.